Now, welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2. We talk about rumors and just general things going on with Major League Baseball. But I got a big trade for you here. A possibly earth-shattering, earth planet-shifting mega deal. And this comes from Fansided. MLB rumors. Now, before we get into that, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. Like the video and let me know. The channel's doing really well. Getting close to 1,000 subscribers. But you got to watch the videos, the whole length of them, to get the hours up in terms of the views. MLB Rumors. A trade deadline shocker. Brewers mega deal looming. And the Phillies NOLA question. And a roundup by MLB insider Jeff Pazan of ESPN. The Milwaukee Brewers could pull off another unpopular trade deadline move. And package two of its stars, say Willie Adamas and Corbin Burns, to pick up as much prospect capital as possible near the trade deadline. Such a move still seems unlikely right now, of course, given the Brewers are in first place in the dreadful NL, NL Central. Milwaukee hasn't blinked before, dealing Josh Hader despite some relative success leading up to last year's deadline. They had a success lined up for Hader. And Devin Williams, and that trade has worked out well for the Brewers. Any trade for Adamas and Burns, both of whom are set to be free agents 25, would net them a large prospect return. Officials believe a Burns deal, if it does, is likelier to come in the winter. But if the deadline market shrivels and starting pitching is at a premium, the Brewers have shown they are willing to make value plays even when they're uncomfortable and unpopular. And if there's no Cease and Tim Anderson or Bieber and Ahmed Rosario deals to be had, a Burns and Willie Adamas package would be plenty tempting. This year's trade deadline sounds far more likely to be a dud than to include huge trades such as those listed. Well, we'll see. We'll see as we go along. Now, of course, please well, subscribe. Let me know what you think about that. It's interesting. Hmm, interesting. Next up... Could the Blue Jays be sellers? Now, I saw the Blue Jays this past weekend. They didn't look like sellers to me. But they are in fourth place in the American League East. As Pazan noted in his column, the likelihood of Toronto dropping out of the contention is slim to none. But the AL East is far more competitive than, say, the AL Central. The Rays, Yankees, Orioles, and Red Sox. You see that play by the Red Sox? Oh, my God, the Red Sox. I'm surprised they're playing as well as they are. That play... Keystone Cops. If Toronto considers this season a loss caused by late July, they would be wise to trade off some of their rentals. Players like Matt Chapman, Kevin Kiermeyer, and Brandon Bell, all valuable veterans who would help a contender, would prefer to do so in Toronto. Heck, push comes to shove. Blue Jays manager would rather the team they invested millions in play the best of their ability. But that's not enough. Expect Toronto's front office to do the right thing and sell, sell, sell. Again, the Blue Jays and the the teams that follow almost certainly won't be given up on the season. But baseball is weird. Good teams go bad. Every so often, deadline deals of which nobody could conceive actually do. Wrote Pazan. It's a stretch, but the Jays are nine games back of the Rays in the AL East. There's a lot of ground to make up, and the AL Central, AL AL Wildcard is no guarantee. If Toronto's front office doesn't think this year's team is World Series caliber, then what's the point of holding on to players who will likely leave this offseason anyway? Oh, I don't know about I don't, I don't know about that. I'm sure about that. I don't know about that. And finally, for this video, the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, the Phillies, uh, the Mets played the Phillies early in the week. I don't see them selling. I'd be very surprised if they did that. Uh, their offense is, is just a wreck right now. They're just not hitting. But they have a lot of talent. Bryce Harper is still kind of dealing with this this surgery that he had with the Tommy John. So I would expect him to really start heating up in July. Uh, and what's happened to Kyle Schwab? He's one, at 167. It's just not good enough. Will the Phillies trade Aaron Nola? Defending National League champions have looked anything but that over the last month. Despite the return of Bryce Harper, Nick Castellanos tried to will his team to victory on Friday night with five RBIs, but it wasn't enough and they lost again to the Washington Nationals. Aaron Nola is on the final year of his contract and is undeniably 
a homegrown ace on the staff. He and Zach Wheeler make a formula one two punch. And should they make the postseason again, the Phillies will be as scary as ever. But what if Rob Thompson's group cannot right the ship? Right now they're in fourth place. Nola and Phillies front office executive Dave, Dave Dombrowski could not agree to a new contract in spring training. Thus signaling, signaling that Nola may get to the test the market next winter, if not trade it first. Uh, now, I saw him. Uh, he didn't look all that great against the Mets. That's not saying much if the Mets are struggling really poorly, badly offensively. But the article says this, Nola has a 4.7 year so far this season. He doesn't prove by late July that the Phillies will be trading him when his value is lowest. Well, then you just hold on to him. If you're not going to get the value that you want out of a guy that you know is good, just hold on to him. And I would point out, there's been a lot of sort of back and forth about the pitch clock. that Some pitchers are having a very difficult time adjusting to it. Uh, he might be one of those that's having a bit of a long adjustment period to it. I don't know. Well, you let me know what you think about this video. What do you think about the Brewers trading both? Corbin Burns and William Adams. That'd be a huge, that'd be a huge, huge move on the part by the Brew Crew. I would mention this. Uh, the Brew Crew and the Brewers are threatening Milwaukee to leave. So if you want to know why they're, they're very much willing to, to move these players, they might be saying to themselves, well, you know what, why don't we just leave? I don't know. You let me know what you think about that. What do you think about the Phillies? What do you think about, what do you think about... The Blue Jays selling. I don't think they're going to be selling. Far from it. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. Thank you. And I'll see you later.